Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN, and returning to the Lakers for this coming season is a huge fan favorite from 2020, Dwight Howard. Dwight, thanks a lot for coming on. How are you, man? I am amazing, man. Thanks for having me on the show today. I'm great. I'm, I'm back in L.A., and I'm happy. Okay, Dwight, what did you miss the most in the one year? And nothing against Philadelphia. I've been there. I, there there's great fans there, but... The weather in Philadelphia always made me mad because it was really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter. Is what you miss the most about L.A., the weather, the people, what? What would you miss the most? Uh, well, you know, Philly was amazing. I had a good time there, uh, even though it did snow a lot. I actually enjoyed the snow. I enjoyed the people there, the city, the food. Uh, once they let the fans come back, uh, the fans were amazing. I had an awesome time in uh, Philly. Uh, it's nothing but love from Philly. Uh, coming from Philly, it's nothing but love. I appreciate every single fan, every single person, every single player, every person that I met in Philly, you know, was an amazing experience. Uh, just being back in L.A., man, it's just just the city, just the Lakers, just just everything, you know, just being around, you know, the guys that we won the championship, being around uh, the fans and, just the sun, the beach, and being able to go to one of my favorite restaurants here in Cali, which is called The Window, American Beauty. It's a burger spot. And I don't eat burgers, but every weekend I get one burger. Uh, so that's my spot, and I'm glad to be back home. Are you still doing that thing where you eat an apple a day, and that's pretty much it? What is, what's your diet like these days? Yes, yes, yes. Um, actually, uh, during the off season, I kind of took me a week or two off uh, and now I'm about to start back. It's about the time. It's about time to get back to business with the training and, and eating right. So uh, I'm still eating my apples every day, two, three apples a day, and uh, always stay healthy. Dwight Howard is with us. Dwight, let's go back to 2020 when you won the title. Why do you think yeah. that went so well? What was the main key to you guys coming together and winning that title in the bubble? I think it was just all of us understood how important um, a championship is. And, you know, we have, we've had guys on our team who have won. Obviously, you know, you have LeBron, uh, who's won a couple rings. Uh, Rondo, who had won a ring. You know, so uh, just for us, it's like, man, this is our time. You know, we don't, want to, uh, we don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You know, we have the right team. We have all the tools, the talent, uh, and we have the heart. And we showed it, and we got, you know, I think one of the hardest um, championships uh, to ever happen. You know, being in a bubble, being away from our family, our friends, no fans in the stands, uh, COVID, you know, uh, being in a hotel for four months, not being able to go anywhere, um, but staying in our rooms. It was, it was a little difficult, but, you know, we made it out together, and uh, we're looking forward to actually uh, getting a parade because, you know, I want a parade. Uh, take me back a little bit. After 2020, you win the world championship, obviously, as you mentioned in the bubble, and you uh, did not return. You went to wound up in Philly instead. How surprised were you? How disappointed were you uh, that you didn't return with the Lakers for 2021? Oh, man, I was hurt. I went and cried in the car. But no, no, I was hurt, uh, actually. Uh, I wanted to stay in L.A. You know, I was shocked that um, – Things happened the way that it happened last year. Uh, but, you know, I just stayed positive. I went to Philly and, you know, tried to give uh, uh, the 76ers 120% every night and then just enjoy the game. Um, and it worked out to uh, for me coming back in L.A. And um, I'm just so happy to be home. Uh, I don't think you guys understand or can fathom how excited and how how much energy I have flowing through my body right now. I'm just trying to contain it and uh, save it for the season. <laughs> All right, so Dwight, the the exciting future for the Lakers is loaded with All-Stars, Olympic gold medalists. You're one of them. The one knock, if, if there is one, is that the team is old. You skew old on the age side. When you hear that, how do you respond? Are we how old? Respond? I didn't know being in your 30s was old. I thought when you get old, you're like 85. Like, I thought 70 to 90 to 100. I thought that was old. I thought being 30 was kind of like like midlife. You know, you kind of 
really trying to figure certain things out, kind of like in your prime. So I don't see us as being old. I see us as being um, experienced. Um, but also, I, I think that with our age, you know, it just shows our maturity in this game, um, how hard we're going to play, the effort that we're going to give. And we also understand that every moment counts. You know, we don't have that long in this league. And so by people saying we're old, I think that's just going to give us just a little bit more edge. You know, it's going to make us go harder because, you know, everybody's calling us old and they feel like we can't accomplish the things that we can't accomplish. But, you know, you look at this team, you know, we have guys who play 18 years, 19 years, 16 years, 13, 14. You know, you got some guys who built up some mileage in this league and who understand how to play and go forward to it. And I think the biggest thing we got to do is just stay locked in, stay focused and um, not allow what people are saying to affect what we do in the locker room. And, you know, we'll be fine. You know, uh, when you were here in 2020, there was a big two, obviously, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Now there's a big three. Russell Westbrook uh, is now part of a big three here in Los Angeles. You've, you've been around Russ. You've obviously played, uh, played against. How do you think Russ fits into what the Lakers have got going on with LeBron and AD? Well, I think Russ just added uh, as another dimension to our team that is going to really be difficult for teams to stop him. You know, he he's a hundred and he's moving at hundred miles an hour on the court. He's going full speed downhill. He's making plays. He's he averages a triple double. Like I don't think people understand how hard that is to do in the NBA. And um. I'm looking forward to playing with him. I think he's going to really make our team a lot better. Just his, the dynamic of him getting rebounds, you know, that's big. You have myself, AD, LeBron, Trevor, Carmelo, all these guys who love to rebound. And then you add another great rebounder in Russell. I just hope we don't be fighting each other for rebound. No, I'm just kidding. But I think that uh, we'll be fine, you know. I love Russ. I love his attitude. And he's always been – you know, somebody that people have always had something uh, bad to say about his game. But this man gives 110%. What else can you ask for? I mean, just he has a triple-double in almost every game. That's amazing. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Dwight, can't wait to – I'm so glad you're back, man. We yeah. Love, we love your enthusiasm. I'm, we love – I'm glad love, I'm back too, you. man. Oh, we – I miss you guys. By the way, Dwight, while you were gone, you would not believe the number of people who called in and said, I wish we still had Dwight. People never oh, stopped man. loving you last year, man. I never stopped loving you guys too, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I think this year is going to be filled with a lot of love and joy and laughter. And uh, hopefully uh, this season we can bring our, our family back together. Um, the Lakers family, Laker Nation all the way around the world. Uh, we need it. We need some some love to balance out all this hate that's been going around. So uh, this is going to be a good year this year. All right. Awesome, man. Hey, Dwight, thanks a lot for coming on. We appre we're we so excited for this year. Thanks, man. Thank you. Let's get that parade, baby. Let's go.